Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about JavaScript. It feels like I was just talking about this same problem for Python 2 a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, I was. I will link that video in the description. But it turns out JavaScript coincidentally has the same problem and the bug bit me almost immediately after releasing a video. So let's jump into it. I'll show you the bug and then I'll show you why JavaScript kind of sucks at Unicode. Okay, so I have been working on chat overlays for my Twitch stream, and uh, they end up as browser sources in OBS, so you kind of have to write them using, uh, you know, JavaScript and HTML, and so I've been rolling up my sleeves and learning some Twitch overlays stuff. Let's see, Firefox, localhost, 8000, just want to quickly show you how they work. Oh, that's the wrong number. Ugh. Unable to connect. Yeah, it's because I. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. <laughs> uh, server. Oh. Open the correct port this time. Uh, so I've been working on JavaScript overlays uh, for my Twitch channel. And the way they work is they're base64 data URLs, which is kind of neat. Let's bring this down so it looks more like a chat window. If we go to twitch.tv and the rights code slash chat and we you know, type a little bongo in here, you'll see that we have a chat overlay. That works great. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. And uh, while I was streaming, actually while I was playing some video games, uh, one of my chatters, Marsha Sox, posted this message in chat. Eat the teeth, tooth emoji, and then a Twitch emote. And the way Twitch communicates emotes over the wire is just the, the text for the emote. And they also have a little bit of metadata that tells you the beginning position and the end position. So if you want to render them, you basically take those positions, remove the substring that was the original text, and then you put an image in its place. And that's you know, basically how this gets rendered here. So uh, over, over the wire, this is just AWC bongo in text. And when I was uh, streaming, it showed up like this, eight to teeth, Tooth emoji, no white space here, which is kind of the hint as to what goes wrong here, then the image, and then an M at the end of it. Now this emote happens to end in the character M, and so that's where that M is coming for, which means that there's some something weird going on with string indices. And it's actually based on a quirk of JavaScript. Oh, JavaScript. Um, let's see if I can grab the, well, we can do it with a different emoji. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the code for the tooth emoji, so we're gonna use, 1F643, which is upside on smiley face, which has the same problem here. Now, you might imagine this is a single character. I typed in one Unicode escape for it. And you know, if we open up Python and do you know, len on this, 1F643, oops, len 1F643, enter, uh, it's a length of one. And it's one character, it should be a length of one. However, in JavaScript, <laughs> It's not, <laughs> it's a length of two. Basically the same problem that I described in Python 2 uh, is codified and you know, specced in JavaScript. In JavaScript, a string's length is the number of UTF-16 units. Now UTF-16 can't represent this single character as a single unit, so it actually ends up being this weird partial string. And this uh, UD838 is the, it's not a code point, it's the, <laughs> It's the UTF-16 big endian encoding of the first half of this character. Uh, for instance, if we were to go over to Python and import Unicode data and be like, what is this character? Unicode data dot name, Unicode character, no name. It's not a real character. This is basically nonsense. And uh, you know, if we were to try and print it, for instance, console.log, I believe we'll get a replacement character. Yeah, the, the old... Uh, diamond with a question mark in it so uh you might be like oh no <laughs> how do i actually figure out the true length of a string and how do i do slicing on this fortunately if you iterate over a string it iterates properly so if we did for let care of s and then did console.log we'll just do this so that uh shows what it is um, it will actually iterate properly. So if we set s to uh, 
hello hello in here as well and we run the same loop again you'll see that it is able to split up the characters properly so what you can do to get the actual length is you can spread the string into an array and then ask its length <laughs> so that's how you can get the true length and then if you need to do a slice on the string so instead of doing s dot uh let's say slice from character one onwards which breaks that character in half you can do spread s dot slice dot join empty string so this is how you properly slice and length a string in javascript if it may contain uh unicode characters that don't fit in utf 16. ah <laughs> but i had, i thought i had left this problem behind in python 3 but i guess not Anyway, that's that's my grumble about JavaScript. Hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.